Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome. It is so good to have you. Uh, you may want to consider subscribing because on this channel, I share very valuable content about ways of making and saving money uh, in the comfort of your home. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you get notified whenever uh, I upload uh, a new video. And on this video, I am going to be announcing two more winners to my 25 dollar each giveaway and this is the new year and this is the new year's giveaway uh the second uh on this channel i'm so very excited to be bringing to you uh these giveaways however with that being said after this giveaway i'll be announcing um a new or different way of how we are going to be doing these giveaways uh going forth so on today's video, oh my goodness, I am so excited, guys. I am so excited uh, because uh, when I first got on to um, reselling, because as uh, some of you may know, uh, I am an e-commerce business owner. I resell uh, clothing uh, on platforms like eBay and Poshmark. Uh, yes, I do. And I love, love, love doing what I do. And uh, I added YouTube onto the mix and that that is keeping me busy and I have a radio ministry as well. I'm on the radio uh, three times. <laughs> <laughs> three times a week friday saturday and sunday and all that is keeping your girl out of trouble i promise you but anyway let's get on with today's video so i'm sure most of you if you've seen the title of the video today uh, we are going to be talking about an exciting topic uh, we're going to be talking about how you can start that business uh, with zero to minimum uh, startup cost you know um when i was doing my research before I got onto business and I was looking for um, how to start your business online, how to get started, uh, whatever, how to how to start your online business, how to start your business with minimum cost. And there was something lacking about most of the information that I was coming across. And I'm hoping that today's video is going to uh, bridge that gap that is missing on some of the content out there because what I was not uh, seeing, seeing or hearing on those, uh, on the content that I was coming across was the nitty gritties of what you actually need to do to start your business. So you want to keep watching and please click that like button. Yeah, smash it. Go ahead, please do. Do me a favor and do other people a favor because when you click that like button, it helps other people uh, find uh, this video. Yes, so how do you start your online or offline business in 2021 with zero or no cost at all? Uh huh. I'm saying zero or minimum cost because most of these things to start to, to help you start your business, you already have. So how do you really get started? Somebody might be saying, okay, how do I get started? How do I start my business? Yes, I have this going on. I have this vision. I have this dream. I desire to have my own business, especially with what happened in 2020. I really do want to have my own business because it's either I've lost a uh, a job or I've had my my hours are uh, cut or I've just been laid off how do I start and where do I start if I want to have my own something that I can call my own so the first thing that you want to do is you want to assess your talents what are you talented in what are your skills what are you skilled at what are the things that people have told you that you are good at doing mm -hmm. you i bet you if you are watching this video i know you are you already have a head start what are you good at doing what is your talent uh, you might say oh, i'm not sure if i'm talented at anything i bet you you are if you are not sure ask the people around you what is it that when you do whatever you do you get a lot of compliments and then the second thing that you want to do after you assess your talents or your skills um this may include your hobby as well is do you enjoy doing whatever it is that you are talented in? You may be talented in something. You may be good at something. You may be skilled at doing something. But 
if you don't enjoy doing it, it's not going to cut. It's not going to work. You want to make sure that whatever it is uh, you're talented in, whatever it is that you're good at doing, you love doing it. Why? Because if you love what you do and you do it so well, considering that at times business takes a little time to to pick up or to gain momentum you want to make sure that if you are enjoying what you are doing that is going to anchor and help you perse persevere throughout the time that your business is gaining traction so you want to make sure that you love what you do you have passion you are passionate about what what you are doing you're passionate about uh, this thing that you are skilled at that you are so good at doing uh, before you even before you even jump into doing it and let me remind you the fact that you're watching this video shows that you already started the planning process because this is going to be the first step to your planning process so bringing me to my next point you want to research about that talent of yours how can you monetize that talent how can you monetize that skill that you have how can you turn that skill of yours into cash mm -hmm. you know we've heard about monetize your talent monetize your talent but i want you to research and go online use the these search engines that are like google and youtube uh, to find out how you can monetize that skill that you have that talent that you have now let me pitch in some examples here i i'm an e-commerce business owner so that means my passion for example is uh, fashion i love fashion so i decided uh with my passion for fashion and loving to uh look nice and to make people look very nice beautiful so i decided that reselling clothing online is my thing and i love doing it so for example you may be interested in starting an e-commerce business that is selling online not everybody is interested in selling fashion or clothes uh decide on what exactly you want to sell you might be interested in uh selling uh, health and beauty products you might you might be interested in selling electronic uh electronic goods uh, uh gadgets um or you might be in, interested in selling car parts whatever you are interested in uh after you identify that passion you want to go ahead and check what platforms are you going to be selling that merchandise in and anyway before you go that far well, as you are deciding on whether to sell online or not, you want to make sure that if you are going to be uh, selling uh, inventory and fulfilling your, the orders yourself, uh, like selling on, on, on these uh, platforms that, um, that allow uh, pre-loved or pre-owned goods, uh, you might want to assess that. You definitely want to make sure that you look around your house. Do you have enough space to store the inventory that you are going to be selling? Because it is one thing to be interested in doing one thing, but you may have very limited space. So it is important for you to know that you, you can store up that inventory that you are going to be uh, selling if you are going to be uh, fulfilling your own orders. Well, some people are into drop shipping. I'm not a fan of drop, ship <laughs> of drop shipping. And that's a story for another day. I'll give you my reasons on another video why I'm not a big fan of drop shipping. Uh, or you may be... Uh, interested or want to venture into print on demand yes look up for some videos coming up about print on demand i'm for print on demand big time where you do not have to even store any inventory but you have to be uh you have to be a, a little bit creative and have an imaginary mind where you can uh, create designs and upload them on platforms like Amazon Merch and uh, uh, Printify or Etsy, uh, Printful. There is tons and tons of uh, sites that will, uh, that will help you uh, with your print-on-demand business without you having to store up any inventory okay that is one example with an online business where you'll be fulfilling the orders uh, by yourself you will definitely need to have a printer and a laptop uh, and 
you probably already have those items in your house so you do not need to go out and buy anything and you don't need to buy a, a, a whole lot of uh, stuff when you get started and you may start off by getting rid of the clothes that you no longer wear that have been sitting in your closet for over a year or your children's clothing that no longer fits or something in your garage go into your garage and see why you are not parking that car in the garage get rid of all that stuff and this also will help you declutter your house or your home so to speak another example is you may uh, say okay Noki, i'm not a big fan of this online selling business uh give me another example well i got a lot of examples which i, will, I may not even be able to cover on this video uh you may have a car and you may want to consider uh doing signing up with uber or or lyft uh and if you're not a fan of having anybody in your car maybe because of covid 19 you may uh want to do uber eats you may also want to do DoorDash and uh, deliver packages like uh, Postmates, deliver groceries. All those are services that you can uh, do and be an independent uh, business owner or contractor. There are many, many, many examples. Well, you may say, I'm not a big fan of driving around. I want to really be uh, in the comfort of my home. And there are other things that I'm interested in. How about if you love to cook? If you love to cook, you can be be a meal preparer you can be a meal planner and preparer and do this uh, at a business level as a meal preparer you have a lot of options you may decide to focus on a specific diet weight loss or a, a specific cuisine uh, I've given examples before you can uh, decide to maybe make food or prepare food from a different country uh, for a, for example I'll give you the examples of of the types of food that I love, love, love. And if anyone is in my area and if they were to get into this business, I'll definitely be their number one customer. I'm talking about if you can uh, prepare Mexican food, if you can prepare Indian food, if you can prepare uh, Italian food, if you can prepare my number one Jamaican food, some kind of African uh, dishes even, you can be in business. So what you want to do to get started is to, uh, whatever meals you prepare, have a nice portfolio of, inc that includes photos of the items that you would have prepared yourself. Make a beautiful, nice looking portfolio that will attract your customers and use uh, uh, apps like uh, Nextdoor, uh, Craigslist or Facebook marketplace to advertise even google to advertise your new venture and that should take a little bit of money but you don't really need a whole lot of money because most of those things are uh, you already have and you may want to uh, do meals that are cost effective like italian food it is very cost effective because we know uh, pasta is one of the cheapest items you can find so you can be making pasta dishes you can also um you can also, as a meal preparer, you can also uh, decide to um, upgrade to catering, cater for events, cater for birthday parties, have a menu for uh, kids' birthday parties, have a menu for adult birthday parties, have a menu for weddings, just anything just be creative and go crazy and do not limit yourself people i know most of the times we fail ourselves before we even get started if you can dream it you can make it you can do it and i am trusting and believing that you can do it yes that is one example so if you are into technology, you can also uh, consider being a web or graphics designer where you can be reaching out to people and um, do their designs, uh, uh, design their logos, create their websites, uh, uh, you know, thumbnails for YouTube, whatever. Or you can be a YouTube cre content creator. This one, though, I want to tell you, it can take time to monetize. So you want to go in knowing that it may take time to be monetized on YouTube. And if you want to get into YouTube, uh, don't go out buying those expensive $800 cameras. Use your smartphone 
Almost everybody has a smartphone and you can use your smartphone and get started sharing with us your viewers what you are good at well, you have something to share you have a story to tell share it with us on youtube and we will definitely support you by the way at this at this point let me remind you that if you haven't subscribed already and you're already you are still watching go ahead and smash that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification and remember to share this video after i am done so what are the other examples of the business uh the, the business is that you can get into if you are a teacher you can do um, you can venture into online tutoring we know it is a big industry you don't need any startup course for that you can sign up with uh, sites like VIP kids or Palfish. those are the two highest paying ones that I know for sure and um, you, and you can be teaching uh, students one-on-one -on -one in China or how to speak the english language you definitely need to have a degree i'm sure most of you already invested in some four-year degree and i uh, one year experience uh teaching kids uh, in one setting or another there are definitely a lot of examples that i can give there are obviously more and more business ideas that i cannot even cover on this one video um there's examples like uh, uh being an abmb manager you can have your own company managing abmbs most of these uh, abmb investors or owners homeowners do not have the time of managing uh, their businesses so you can uh create your own company where you can advertise yourself as an abmb and be managing company what an abnb managing uh, company does is they manage uh the check-ins for guests uh they deal with the check-ins they deal with the checkouts and they go in after the guests have checked out they go and clean the the airbnb where the guests were um booked and then they also check on the supplies like towels to make sure that nothing has been stolen nothing is broken and if there's anything that is amiss then they can contact the owners and they fulfill or you can go ahead and fulfill whatever needs to be fulfilled and then just bill uh the uh owner of the home so that is a a very lucrative business uh, that is rampant and this business is good because it is wherever there are abnbs all over the world you can have an abnb managing company so if you love to clean and love to make the house or home look nice consider being an abnb manager you also can get into uh, real estate wholesaling. Yes, uh huh. You do not need any startup cost. That, of course, is going to be a detailed video at a later time. Where I'll be sharing with you on how to uh, start a real estate wholesaling uh, business with zero startup cost in the comfort of your home. Yes, of course, there are a lot of ideas that I can give you, but let's move on now that you have identified. I hope this gives you an idea of the things that you are that you are interested in or things that you are capable of doing. Just take time and assess yourself and assess yourself skills you may want to also involve the people around you or your family members to be pitching and tell you exactly what you are good at and take it from there now let's move on to starting up for example the course will vary from business to business but like i have mentioned before most of these business ideas um do not require much of any investment because you already have those things that you need to get started in your home you already have printers you already have cameras you have uh, you already have uh, smartphones uh, which if you are going to be an online reseller you can use your smartphone to take uh, pictures you can use your smartphone to list on the platform that you choose to list on out really uh warn you against going ahead and investing in expensive uh, gadgets or items that you, you, you think you may need when you are starting a business. Most of the times you don't need all those expensive things to get started. You want to get started and then as you grow your business, then you can invest in your business. Well, 
if you are going to be doing something like selling online, you want to decide and research the platforms that you are going to be selling on. Know what that platform's policies are. Know what the platform's uh, fees are because most of these platforms will definitely uh, charge you a minimum fee. Know whether they are upfront costs on that platform or or you only pay uh, the fees after you sell uh, your items. For example, with eBay, you don't need any upfront costs. They only collect money after you sell your item. And depending on how you are handling your, your business on eBay, if you have an online store, that will be a monthly recurring cost on your end. However, I recommend that when you are starting an eBay reselling business, uh, do not start up by signing up for a store. Uh, just sell as an individual with individual items until you get to a point where it is uh, uh, worth your money to sign up for an, an eBay store. And recently, as recent as last year, eBay in, introduced a very small uh, packages of stores that, that you can start with so to speak and if you are going to be selling on platforms like poshmark you do not need any startup cost what poshmark does is they take a fee once your item is sold they will just take a one-time 20 percent and that's it you don't get any invoice or any other uh bill after your item is sold. And what I like about Poshmark is their return policy is very strict. Uh, customers cannot just return items willy-nilly. So it is a good platform for that uh, reason. However, it is a very labor-intensive uh, platform, I might say, because you have to constantly be sharing and uh, uh, listing items. Well, let me say, all platforms, you gotta give them some TLC for them to love you back and give you uh, back those cells that you so need and desire to have. So those are just a couple of uh, examples uh, when it comes to online reselling fees. Let me also mention that there's a Facebook marketplace which is uh, really um, is thriving now as far as uh, selling items. If you do not want to deal with any uh, of these platforms, you can just sell your stuff locally and have people uh, pick up stuff. You can uh, arrange and uh, meet with them to pick up or you, whatever merchandise you're selling. The good thing with the, the Facebook marketplace, you can sell even big items and you don't have to deal with freight. Uh, and uh, alongside Facebook marketplace, there's also uh, platforms like Let Go and Offer Up. I'm talking about here in the US of A uh, for those apps. Now, let's move on uh, to the next item that I want to address as far as starting your online or offline business in 2021 with no startup costs. Now, Let's talk about the fun part, that is your finances. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is the main reason why you're starting your business, right? Yes, now I will talk about your fi the finances, your business finances. I cannot overemphasize the importance of um, making sure that you keep your financial, your business financial records straight. The first thing that you want to do is to open a separate uh, business checking account. You can open it as a sole proprietor. That means you do not have to register a name or a business. You can do your business in your name you can open up a free business checking account. You might want to investigate and see which banks offer uh, a free business checking account so that whatever finances or whatever income comes into your business, it goes straight into that, into that checking account. You do not have to register an LLC. You can start your home based business as a sole proprietor. That means you do not have to register a company name. However, it is important to keep good financial records so that when it comes to filing your taxes your your accountant your accountant or your CPA will not have any trouble so let me back up a bit 
once you open your business checking account, that is a separate account from your uh, personal account, never mix the two. Make sure it is separate. I will keep emphasizing this point. Uh, the reason being, you want to make sure that you are able to see how your business is progressing. So that being, brings me to my next point. You want to make sure that you keep a spreadsheet of your cost of goods, uh, the the goods that are sold if you are selling goods or your services you want to have some kind of record uh, a spreadsheet will do if you are getting started uh and if you want to invest in these apps like um god daddy bookkeeping you may do so however a spreadsheet uh is good enough it only uh takes more time and work to uh, keep updating a spreadsheet and you have to be on top of your game because you have to enter your cost of good goods you have to enter your fees you have to calculate uh, your profits once your goods are sold and you have to see what is your profit and uh, let me say as you are getting to realize those profits i will say in the first three to six months of starting your business make sure that you invest all your money back into your business this will help your business grow and it will help your business scale up faster than if you just take the money and squander it give yourself three to six months before you can pay yourself so i'll say the initial money that you make for example if you're going to be selling online the way i did my uh, online ebay business is when i sold whatever i sold i took that money and I took the money that I, I had uh, received from the sales of the clothes that were from my closet that I didn't even have to go out and buy. I had too many clothes to get rid of. So I took that money and then I started buying more inventory. I started going to the thrift stores. I started going to to the stores uh, for that sell um uh, discounted goods. I just started say, buying more inventory. So do not rush into paying yourself. I'll say unless if you absolutely need the money, just if you absolutely need the money, then just take the profit. But I recommend that you invest as much as you can in your business. This way you are going to grow your business faster. You are going to scale up way faster and you are going to realize more profit. And then maybe after the three months or six months, then you can start um paying yourself and then you can start saving some money in a separate account then you can start investing and just remember to keep putting more and more and more into your business this way it is going to grow and you gain more traction i hope that is clear as I did mention about the apps, uh, there are apps like GoDaddy, there are apps like uh, QuickBooks, uh, there, are apps, there are many more apps that can help you track your, exp your business expenses. And this way, at the end of the year, when it comes to a tax preparing season, you just can uh, download those uh, the records or the report and send it to your tax preparer. And I do recommend that you hire a professional uh, CPA, professional tax preparer. Let me know if you need one and I will recommend mine to you. He is very good and he's so on top of his IRS um, uh, updates and uh, he knows the tax codes. So you want to make Make sure that you have a very good uh, uh, professional accountant uh, who can do your taxes, one who knows and understands the tax code for your country as much as possible. For example, in the US of A, you want to make sure that your tax professional knows that you can hire your children and get a credit for it. You want to make sure that your CPA knows the deductions and the credits that you can claim on your, when you file for your taxes. They are, there is a lot that goes in when it comes to when it comes to uh, preparing uh, and filing taxes for your business. And um, the more you know and the more you educate yourself, the better. I, I love doing uh, business because 
being in business has taught me to be a perpetual student, to always learn and learn and learn and never stop learning. You may want to invest in a financial education as you get started, because when you know uh, your finances, how to handle your business finances and personal finances, your business and your personal life will be in a better off uh, standing. So I recommend that you educate yourself financially. One of the things that I learned one, once I got into business is that when I go away, say uh, on, uh, on vacation, I recently just came back a few days ago. When I go away, if during that time that I'm away, what was supposed to be a vacation can easily turn into a business trip depending on what I do while I'm on that vacation. For example, while I was on my Merry Christmas vacation, birthday vacation, I... Uh, I had to respond to my customers, customers who had purchased stuff that I was uh, while I was away to inform them, to let them know that I was not around. I was going to ship their items when I got back to Chicago uh, on whatever date. And uh, that is working and that turned my visit into a business trip that is deductible in that uh, when it comes to filing taxes not only was i responding uh to my customers i was also i also bought some inventory which i always do whenever i go to a different area a different place i always like to venture into the different stores and see what i can get to bring back and sell to my customers look out for that uh video haul that will be coming up in a few days uh where uh, the inventory that i bought a while i was on my vacation which turned into a business a trip legally so because that's exactly what the u.s tax code states only when you have the financial education and you know and you educate yourself on these things will you know some of these pertinent things otherwise I do recommend highly that you give yourself a financial education and I will recommend that you do not outsource the handling of your finances to anybody else. Handle your own finances. Yes, for the record keeping like bookkeeping and, and the like, it's okay to hire somebody. But when it comes to uh, handling the finances themselves, handle your finances yourself. Do not, uh, <laughs> do not let anybody be handling your money for you. That's just what smart people do. Now, moving on, I think that's about it for finances. I can go on and on and on about finances. Um, there's, it is so broad and there's many things that uh, you, you have to do and educate yourself when it comes to finances. But I want to move on uh, so that we can wind up this uh, video. I want to move on to the tips and to the important tips that I want to give to you as you get ready to uh, start your business. If you've been watching this far, congratulations. Give this video a, a, a like and remember to share it after we are done. And remember, I'm going to be announcing two names of winners uh, at the end of this video. Now, as we continue with this video, I want to give you some important tips. I know I've given you uh, the basics of how to get started, the assessing, uh, the research, the monetizing, and all that good stuff, managing your finances. Now, I want to give you some important tips that you need to bear in your mind as you are continuing with this planning process that you already started. Now, the most important thing that I want you to do is uh, I want you to set your mindset uh, to success mode. Tell yourself that if you have uh, thought about it, if you have dreamt about it, if you have the desire to do it, know that you can do it. Believe that you can do it. So set your mindset in a positive direction. Remove all the negativity that could be clouding your mind right now. Get rid of that. I cannot do it mentality. Set your mind for success and you will definitely succeed. 
Secondly, I want you to have clarity. What is it that you want to do? Have clear goals, set your goals. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? What are you going to do to achieve what you want to achieve? And then the next thing, I want you to know the reason why you want to get into business. Mm -hmm. It is important uh, to know the reason why you want to get into business. Yes, you want to be financially free. You want to create wealth for your uh, family. You want to create a legacy for your family. You want to save money. You want to have a comfortable life. All those are good things. Make sure that your the why is very, very clear, and that the why is not uh, misconstrued. Uh, I'll give you an example. Do not start your business because you want to benefit from the tax from the tax system, uh, from the tax credits that come with having a business. It's like um, as someone who decides to have children so that they can get all that money from the government. No, you have children because you want to have children. You want to grow your your family. You want to have, create a generation. <laughs> you want to create a generation in your family. You are not having these children so that you, you can benefit from the system. Those are some of the examples, uh, the couple of examples that I can give you. So have clarity of mind, Be know the why. It is important for you to know why you do what you want to do. In other words, if you have a strong why, if you have a strong reason why you are getting into business, that strong reason is going to sustain you even during the days when your business is slow, during the days when your business is in fair mind, that reason is going to anchor you until you get over the fair mind days and get into the feasting season. So make sure that the reason why you are getting into business is strong enough to sustain that business even when the going is rough. Now, another thing that I want to remind us all is make that business your own without reinventing the wheel. So what am I saying? I'm saying, make sure that whatever business idea you have and whatever business you are going to start, it is fully your own. It is something that you are passionate about. It is something that when the storm is raging, you can stick with it because you are passionate about it. There goes that passion word again. So make sure it is your own. Do not copy or take somebody's idea. I always like to give an example. <laughs> I always like to give an example uh, of my friend who owns a cleaning business. Shout out to Clean Loft. Check her channel out. Um, she will show you how to clean or make your bed. Anyway, I always say she has a cleaning business. I do fashion, but it doesn't make sense for me to copy and try to have a cleaning business when I can't even stand somebody else's mess. Uh-huh, believe it. She can do her business and I can support her fully. So I can do my business and we can um, support one another in that way without envying each other and without uh, copying or duplicating um, each other's um, what efforts or business i don't know whatever it is whatever it is i hope you get what i'm trying to say i get excited at times pardon me now that brings me to the next very important tip that i want to give you make sure you have a trusted accountability partner yes i always recommend that your number one accountability partner should be your spouse. If your spouse is in on whatever you are doing, you know that we have half the battle conquered because that partner, your husband, your spouse um, is going to encourage you even on those days when you don't even feel like getting out of bed because you are so discouraged. Things are looking dull and gloom. Your accountability partner is going to urge you on and tell you that you can do it. My best friend, my accountability partner, my husband, he is 
always urging me that yes baby you can do it and that really even when i'm thinking like how i am so terrible i'm not doing things right but he is always there to urge me on and to tell me that i can do it that makes me get up and get going and do what i need to do apart from your spouse you can have a good friend like i was telling you about my friend a friend who is also in business why somebody who has this who is like-minded uh like you a person who thinks uh, similar like you a person who has a vision a person who also desires to have a good and big things in their life that way you can be pulling each other up and not dragging each other down you want to make sure that you have an accountability partner who will encourage you, who will tell you that yes, you can do it, that yes, it is possible. Because I tell you, being in business, as much as it is fun, it is not easy. You have to have some stamina. You have to have some perseverance. You have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you see that light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, there are some people who get into business and they hit it off running and they are successful, but it's not not the same with everybody. So you want to make sure that you have the right people around you who are who whom, whom you are going to be accountable to and that brings me to my next point avoid sharing your dreams with everybody because it's not everybody who wishes you well especially it's, it's people who are negative minded stay away from negative minded people don't share your vision or your dream with negative minded people because when you are telling them what you are working on all they are seeing is why you can not do it avoid people like that because all they are going to do is they are going to drag you down they are going to wear off your energy there's nothing that really puts me off as negative people i avoid negative minded people because i don't want their negativity in my space i like to be positive minded no matter what the circumstances is i want to look at things um in a positive light you know how they say um some people see a glass as half empty some people see a glass as half full but i want to tell you that my glass is always refillable uh-huh it is so always share your dreams with the people who know or who can see that your class is refillable or your class is continually filling up and it can be refilled over and over and over again so be careful sharing your vision with naysayers all they are going to do is dampen your spirit all they are going to do is dim your light all they are going to do is tell you all the reasons why you cannot do what you are about to get started doing don't listen to them if anything negative is said to you let it go in one ear and come out the other and just stay away from naysayers the next point or the next tip that i want to give you is never underestimate your potential yes trust me you can do it the fact that you've been watching this video this long that shows me that you have a positive mindset and you want to change your family's destiny yes you can do it never ever underestimate your potential yes you can do it now for the next tip you may say hey you may say hey naki i have ventured into business before and i failed and i'm skeptical uh trying again i got news for you rome was not built in a day most businesses or most successful business people have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed but what sets the people who succeed and those who do not succeed is the people who keep doing 
what they need to do. The people who keep persisting and learning from their mistakes, learn from your mistakes, keep on doing what you need to do. Keep trying and trying and trying. I always give an example. When I first started selling online, because I got so excited leaving my healthcare job, I couldn't wait to be independent. And as a result, I overlooked some of the important basic planning steps uh, that I needed to take. So all I did was jump online and create a website. One one, having your own website can be very expensive. Not only that, you need to, if you are going to be selling on your own website, you need to be driving traffic to that website. So I did not do my marketing research. I did not invest in marketing, which is why when you are going to be selling online, as you are looking at those uh, online platforms, you need to check which online platforms already have marketing covered in the fees that you are going to be paying. For example, if you are if I'm selling on eBay, I know that eBay spends money marketing and advertising on behalf of us, the sellers, which is why we pay those fees. But if you have your own website, you have to do your own marketing. You have to spend your own money to market and drive traffic to your website. Facebook on its own will not cut it because what will happen is your friends, your family and friends will just go to your website and check it out. And those numbers may not convert. But um, when you when you, um, oh boy, I digress. So I had to learn from my mistake of having my independent website that no, that was not a good place to start. I needed to start on a platform that already has traffic, a, a place that is already known a world over like eBay, a place where the traffic is already there, all I need to do is just bring my merchandise and create my, my store there and uh, the rest will take care of itself. So, which is what I learned. But had I told myself that, oh, okay, um, I'm not selling, uh, there's nothing going on on my website and uh, canceled everything and, and then sat back and folded my hands, I'll still be in that position even now. But Instead, I reassessed and I went back and I started to sell on eBay and the rest is history. So the fact that you have not succeeded in the past, does, it does not mean that you are not going to succeed next time. You have to keep on keeping on, keep on doing keep on trying and changing those things that you did wrong the first time and you'll see that things will eventually work and if you need some um some coaching or some uh, mentorship i'm here for you i'm going to leave my details uh in the in, in the description box so that i can hold your hand and work with you as you start your business let us do this together and i want you to be successful now my next point is as important as the last one always remember that when you are getting into whatever business you are venturing into you are fulfilling and meeting somebody else's needs i always look at my business as a ministry it is a calling i'm meeting somebody's need the way i look at my online selling or e-commerce business is that i i just imagine somebody who is stuck in their home who is not able to go shopping uh, somebody who for one reason or another is not able to go and shop or he's looking for this one item or this pair of shoes this flat shoes this particular type of shoe that i have in my store and that this particular size this size 12 women's this size 13 this size 15 men's shoe that i have in my store and they go into my store and voila they find it and i have fulfilled their need and because I have fulfilled that need, there is satisfaction in my heart and there is a grateful uh, buyer or customer at the other end and I've been rewarded in a monetary way. But I'm just giving you examples that 
when you delay starting that business you are delaying fulfilling a need that somebody's waiting for you are if you are delaying starting your service uh, based business whether you are a handyman or whatever it is with graphics design you are delaying fulfilling somebody's need somebody's waiting for your service if you are a virtual assistant someone is waiting for a virtual uh, assistant with uh, skills that you have your particular skills that nobody else has and, and a person who is going to perform the task that they are assigned in an excellent way that only you can do it now let me speak to somebody who is adamant that they have no talent whatsoever they have no skill whatsoever listen here the fact that you are watching this YouTube video shows me that you desire to learn. I want to encourage you to continue learning, continue educating yourself, continue doing the research that you're already doing, but be careful not to overload yourself with information and not take action. Just continue learning, Con be a perpetual student. This platform, YouTube and Google, they are so good with information. You can teach yourself some skills uh, from zero to expert. So do identify what you are interested in learning and start the research right here and teach yourself to do whatever it is that you desire to learn. As long as you have the desire, you have conquered half the battle. If you have the desire to learn, you can learn whatever it is that you want to learn and then you can monetize and turn that skill and if you are already in business i encourage you to continue learning continue teaching yourself there is so much out there that we still do not know personally i have a lot that i want to learn and i want to continue learning and learning and learning and i want to continue sharing the knowledge that i learn with you i want to be a sponge and just soak up all the information that i can and one way that i do that is i want to get back like i was sharing in my other video about 2021 is i want to uh, be listening to more audio books i want to be to increase my knowledge, I want to refresh my memory. I want to have um, these ideas, not only business ideas, but just inspiration, you know, just life and just, you know, living our best lives. And I, I just want to get back into reading and listening to audio books. And I encourage you to do that. Let's do that together. Now, let me also say that the longer you delay studying whatever it is you want to start, the slimmer the chances you will actually get started. Being there, done that, don't do it don't overload yourself with information otherwise you may suffer to information overload and and take no action with all this information that you already gathered so i want you to just get up and do it and that is why you need an accountability partner and a mentor because those two or the one either one or the other is going to make sure that you actually get started with what we, with whatever it is that you are planning to start give them a date and they will check on you and they'll keep checking if you actually have started on that business idea now remember to check uh, the description box below for useful information and some video links that I recommend that you watch. And if you found this uh, video uh, useful and very helpful, please go ahead and uh, click the like button so that other people may find it uh, and share it with your community. If you do share this uh, video on um, on, on your uh, Instagram, uh, please take me. My uh, my Instagram handle is in the description box below. And I've also linked my um, eBay store. I'll, I'll be listing a uh, brand new inventory that I brought uh, from my Merry Christmas birthday uh, excursion tent into a business trip. Um, 
And so you wanna make sure that you uh, check out my store. I'm still in the process of listing them and I'm going to also uh, be uploading a whole video for uh, the items that I brought. It's not a whole lot, but uh, uh, it's exciting enough uh, to share with you handbags and some snow boots if you're in the USA. And by the way, yes, I do ship globally under the eBay uh, global shipping program. So now let's move on to the fun part. Part. Remember the conditions uh, for for you to enter the giveaway is you have to be subscribed, you have to comment on the videos as many videos, especially re recent videos as possible, and uh, please leave your <laughs> I call them. Um, Leave your footprints on the videos by leaving a comment to show that you were there. Yes, leave a comment uh, and share with your people, your friends, your, your friends, your community. And if you do share it on uh, Instagram again, please do tag me, Vala Style. Uh, my, my Instagram handle is in the description box. Just follow me and uh, tag me. Because if you tag me uh, and if you subscribe, uh, those will put you at a better uh, stand for winning uh so that if i see that uh, people are really actually sharing i know some people do share on twitter and it shows me when somebody has, has shared it on twitter and unfortunately some of you guys are there you are commenting you are liking but you are not subscribed uh, a number of times i've had to redraw so which is why I'm, i think i'll stop using the random comment picker because uh what's happening is a lot of people are commenting but they are not subscribed we have so many comments comments uh, but the number of comments um even if there are mul some multiple comments the replies don't count by the way they don't match the number of subscribers so you some of you are not subscribed so that automatically disqualifies you you definitely need to be um subscribed yes i've had to redraw and redraw after checking and seeing that somebody's not subscribed thanks to youtube they do send notifications to let me know uh when somebody subscribed subscribes <laughs> with that being said drum roll please my two winners for the new year's uh, giveaway um and i'm going to be sending you 25 dollars each via paypal preferably unless if you are in the us and you have sell i can sell it to you i will not do cash up for obvious reasons too much fraudulent activity on cash up so i'm not doing cash up whatsoever period uh, but uh, i will gladly do paypal and i'll gladly sell the first winner is jay han i hope i'm pronouncing uh the name correctly jay han j h u n j h u n congratulations you won the first 25 dollars and the next winner is lin lin congratulations again you have won i've seen your comments i've seen that you have subscribed thank you so very much yes and uh for the next giveaway uh stay tuned i'll let you know when and how the next uh cash giveaway is going to go um we are going to be using some milestones so i'll let you know in the next few videos when i'm going to be giving away some more cash and with that being said thank you so very much for watching this important video you might want to send it to a friend send it to yourself so that you save this link and save this youtube video so that you keep going uh, back to it and reminding yourself on what steps to take so as to start your online or offline business for that matter and if you need help i'll leave the information in the description box on how you can get in touch with me and i'll definitely give you the information on the steps to take so that i can work with you but remember my time is valuable is as valuable as, as yours and one of my uh, goals this year is to guard and monitor my time redeem the time as much as possible so yeah my time is very precious and i'll work with those people who are dedicated and who commit to working and uh, achieving results i want goal oriented people i want people who are ready to work people who are ready to succeed that's whom i'm going to work with with that being said thank you so very much once again remember to subscribe remember to ring the notification bell so that you don't miss 
so that you don't miss the announcements uh, of the next um, videos. And please sound off in the comments below and tell me what other videos you want me to cover. I know I'm working on a lot of videos, uh, but let me know what else you want me to cover. There is tons and tons of content that I'm working on for you. And I want to add value to you and your life. I want you, I want you to change uh, the trajectory for your family, your family's legacy. It will start with you. Take the first step today and make sure that you succeed. Remember to do small things with great love from my heart to yours. Stay positive. Know and believe that yes, you can do it. Let's just do it. See you on my next video. God bless you.